Hi guys, it's Anna here. In this video, I am using Inktense pencils and Posca pens to draw a little bee in a in a flower. So I am using uh, Inktense. It's a Derwent um, Derwent pencils. They are water soluble, but they're not like watercolor pencils because they can only activate the color once. Um, once you do it, you can activate them again and you don't have to activate them all the time, obviously. So in this, I'll leave the link of the, um, of the reference photo that I found on Pinterest uh, in the description and what I'm doing, I'm trying to follow the, um, the colors I see in the photo. I didn't, I didn't deviate much from that. I am looking for where I see purples and dark colors and then oranges and and yellows in the in the in the bee itself and then the flower is kind of uh, white I just kind of drew the shadows with uh, a bit of purple a purplish color and the rest of the flower is green so I used different shades of green um, I first did a sketch um, and I just used a, a mechanical pencil for that then I slightly erased it with a kneaded eraser and and then I start the coloring process um, after the first layer of color with pencils I am going to activate it with water uh, I'll be using like those little brushes that have a container that can be filled with water but you can use like a normal a normal brush with with a, just a glass of water or uh, a container with water um, it, I think it's important um, to activate mainly the first layer because the the colors these intense pencils are just absolutely amazing they are incredibly pigmented and the colors just explode they are just insane i love them and i hadn't i hadn't used them for a, a long time and i saw them the other day when i was cleaning the, <laughs> the little corner of my living room that i call my studio and i saw them and i just have to use them again and that's what i'm doing i like 40 minutes to sketch something and I did it um, so here's where I'm starting to activate the first layer um, it's important to like uh, use use a lot of colors like mix the colors so you can have different colors on the paper not just the colors that come uh, in the, this metal case I think I have the 36 set and it's a lot. Uh, the only thing I don't absolutely adore in these pencils are the um, the fact that that happens in the Wendt collections <laughs> a lot. That the 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 color of the pencil is not exactly the color of the the back of the pencil. So it's it's kind of hard to. It's good to make a swatch of the pencils, and in this case, you should do a swatch of the pencils when they're they're dry and when and then when they are wet because they are very different. When they're wet, they're very pigmented. They are very bright. They are very intense. Um, so it's it's good for you to know what kind of color you want because they are different from the the first the 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 first appliance and it's not appliance the first time you put them down um it's very different from when you activate them with water and they they kind of after they are they are activated you kind of can move them around like watercolor pencils so uh, in this case i kind of <laughs> it was very weird because i kind of sketched the the bee and then i thought well after the first 
pain, the, the, the first activation, I, I thought, well, the, the back of the bee, the end of the bee is not very well, so I, I added a little bit more of her ass. <laughs> and then, um, when I was like even further <laughs> into the painting, like really basically in the end, I, I figured it doesn't make sense, where's the other leg or something, uh, like she has two legs in here and maybe she should have three, uh, but something else should be visible and then I I, I looked at the, the photo reference and I, I forgot one of the legs, so then I had that <laughs> it, to, the, to the drawing, but um, it's just weird, that blank space be between her legs and her, her belly it was just wearing me out uh, and so I went to see why when the hell is that we have such a blank space there like um, and I saw there was another leg there so that's what I did um, so I I, I put the I put the, the colors down again and I tried to reach the value I want and that's basically it then I come in with the Posca pens because I, I knew I, I would go I would come with the um, with the white Posca pen I usually do that but in this case since I got myself uh, a new set of 20 20 something Posca pens um, I wanted to try them out because there were there were some really bright oranges in in her in her fur let's call it that and. And then there's these stems of of the flower that there are in front of the of the bee that that I could only get with like an acrylic thing or a, or a gouache thing like something really opaque. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able at this stage to to just add them. I would have to have the the blank spaces there before. Um, so here I'm having the, the other leg it's amazing how oh, i forgot the leg but that happened we we noticed it and it's 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 okay now so yeah then i come with the posca pens and i try i i just couldn't i just couldn't uh just use the the white but the thing is these posca pens are very very thick not the white one because it's from another it i bought it separately um, the white is 0.7 and the other ones are like uh, one point something okay so it's it's it they're much thicker uh, I bought them to do other stuff like rocks rock painting or, or wood painting but that's something I'm gonna do later on I haven't done it yet uh, but I couldn't uh, couldn't stop <laughs> not use them in here to do the stems of the flowers and then I got a little carried away and I added, I added a little bit more um, because the the bee was so bright and there was so much sun reflecting uh, and I kind of liked, liked how, how the acrylic uh, came uh, made, made an effect on top of the, the ink tins so uh, that's pretty much what I did. I hope uh, you liked this video. If you did, give me the thumbs up and click the little bell button if you want to be notified when I post. Uh, sometimes I'm not, very, I'm not very regular, so that would be a good thing to be um, uh, notified. Until then, I hope this kind of inspired you to pick up your hard stuff and do something. It doesn't have to be like with any sort of brand but just anything even just a pencil uh, hope you get inspired and try to do some art because then it's fun you have a nice moment and then you have something to be proud of <laughs> well till next time stay safe create art have fun and bye bye